What's up, everyone? It's your man, Will, and you're listening to American Diner Stories, and I'm here with... Producer Glenn. And we also have Michael Gabriel in the house. Hi, Thanks, everybody. Dude. All right, so, Mike, we just had an awesome podcast with the owner of the Montclair Diner, Elliot. Elliot, yes. Elliot Mosby. Yeah. Yes. And uh, what a great guy, great place. Now, and you were telling us some stories before. Uh, it was the Char Grill, right? Used to be the called the Char Grill, and then I guess about 20-something years ago, it changed over to the Montclair Diner. And... Uh, Definitely got the monk, get, definitely got the, the diner vibe here, yeah. and uh, it's got a nice counter with the round stools and yeah. Noga Hyde booths and uh, community feel. It's uh, it's good, yeah, it's all good. Now, and uh, you wrote something recently on a local blog, was it Jersey Bites or right? I write, uh, I write an occasional bite for Jersey, Jersey Bites. It's a, it's a very nice foodie website, yeah, definitely. I enjoyed doing it very much. Um, and uh, they approached me a number of years ago to do a blog, and I said, well, yeah. what do I have to do? And they said, well, you know, when you go to a diner, you just write about it. And I said, yeah. okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's not so, a stretch. <laughs> so um, I, I, whenever, wherever I travel throughout the state, I always bring my notebook, I bring my camera. Yeah. And one of the things I, I noticed recently, I'd say over the last 18 months or so, I noticed that kind of spontaneously a lot of diners that I was – passing by were were updating and uh, renovating themselves both the exterior and uh, the interior mm -hmm. and I said hmm, that's kind of interesting so I uh, I took some I kept a log of pictures mm -hmm. and um, I knew I had a story when I found out about uh, top Steiner in Newark okay and yeah and the TikTok in uh, in my hometown of Clifton yeah so when they when they confirmed what they were doing, I said, "Okay, now I got, I've got my, I got my bigger picture story." Yeah. So this is, a, so I wrote the story. It was about the, it's a season of renewal. I just called it. Okay. And it just for whatever reason, various diner owners are investing capital, and upgrading their diners and changing the look and sometimes upgrading the menu and right. sometimes changing the interior. It's a natural process. This, this is this is what happens at diners all the time, yeah. all throughout the years. They've updated, they've renovated, um, most of them anyway. Mm -hmm. And so mm -hmm. this is what I've uh, I noticed, and I said, yeah, okay, yeah, I got a. I'm a journalist, I'm a reporter, so I say, all right, I got now I got my story. So right. that was the story, yeah. All right, so uh, because um, tell us how many diners have now started to renovate. Well, probably more than I even know about. But I noticed when I was traveling down south, there's the Red Lion Diner. There's the Vincent Town Diner, which I, I came across when they were just starting the, the renovation work. I found out about the TikTok because I, I live right near there. Yeah. I heard about Tops, but I wasn't quite sure what it is that they were doing. I was hearing all these different things. Yeah. I went there one day and very luckily met the owner <laughs> yeah. in the parking lot. <laughs> I introduced myself, and he was like very happy to see me. Nice. And he had the, all the drawings of what the new. I said, "There's going to be a brand," because I thought it was either going to be expanded. Yeah. Or, mm -hmm. He said, "No, no, no. We're we're tearing down the old diner. We're yeah. building a brand new one." I said, "Whoa!" So he, yeah. he, I went down to his office. He showed me the the drawings. I said, "Well, this oh, is wow. pretty cool." That's so, awesome. Yeah. When uh, when are they going to tear that down? Uh, the the work is everything's supposed to be finished by March 2021. And it's going to be a transition because they, they're going to keep the, the current diner as long as they can. Yeah. They're going to add a new parking lot. They're going to build a brand new diner on that same site. Okay. And uh, it's going to be interesting to in, see. In yeah. the same footprint because it's same it does, footprint. It has yeah. a long uh, That's like right. parking lot in the back. Yep. Yep. Same footprint. Same right. same address. Same footprint. And there's other diners yeah. too. The the um, the old Triangle Diner in the Hawthorne now is the Hawthorne Diner. Okay. Okay. And, Things like that. Things like that. They, yeah. the, the, the diners change. Uh, our January podcast with you at Tops. Okay. Yeah, so let's uh, – <laughs> and then uh, – or TikTok. We'll do both. We'll do All right. A, we'll do a, a, right. a tag team because I want to go to <clears throat> Tops before they tear it down. Okay. And yeah. then when they rebuild it, yeah. we want to do the yeah. opening podcast. Yeah. So it's just such – I love Tops. Yeah. Tops is one of my favorite it's, diners. It's legendary throughout the nation. Oh, yeah. And you know that when you go into the parking lot. There are license plates from all yeah. over the United States. Okay. No, it's yeah. true. It's true. Yeah, so. They're always voted the uh, one, two, or three best diners in oh, the yeah. country. They are. If they you are talk to salesmen, um, in terms of what, what they purchase from, you know, the food suppliers, 
Yeah. They out. They out. They out buy everybody. Yeah. Everyone wants that account. Everything's yeah. fresh. The f- the fish is fresh. The yeah. meat is fresh. Yeah. They do great breakfast. The l- the line is always out the door. Out the door. Yeah. It's, it's a great place. You great uh, place. I'll pick my wife up at the Path Station in Hoboken, and I'll say, "What do you want to do for dinner?" She goes, "Tops." Tops. And I'll yeah. drive right to Tops yeah. Friday night. A beloved institution. Oh, yeah. 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 I love it. And the TikTok is another beloved institution. Yes. And we did guerrilla filming in there and talked to, I think, the son-in-law. Right. They're totally like, they love the community really loves what's happened there. It's, the it's, change. A, it's a nice change. Um, it's gotten some press in recent weeks. Yeah. It's only been, I mean, it's like been about two or three weeks now. Yeah, tops. Um, yeah. I kind of kept track of it as it was going along, only mm-hmm. because I, I know them. I've been going to, I've been, I've been going to the iterations of the TikTok since the uh, since the 1970s, yeah. so oh, wow. it's a, it's it has a special place in my heart. Um, whenever I drive by, the parking lot is full, yeah. jammed, oh, always full, and it's uh, they've kept the traditional items on the menu. They've they've renovated the interior, but now they've added some some new. I'd say like you could call them upscale items. Yeah, yeah. but it's 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 all good. It's yeah. good oh, stuff. Yeah. It's good stuff. I had the um, I had the short rib. Taco. Oh, taco. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> it was good. <laughs> <laughs> I had it the short good. rib grilled cheese. It was good. It was good. Yeah. And yeah. They, now they use Pat Lafrida meat. Yeah. I don't know if you're familiar who Pat Lafrida is. No. Nope. He's nope. the butcher to the stars. No. And, oh. and, he, and his facility is in North Bergen. Okay. And I, I did an interview with him on another podcast. He is the most humble guy, but he'll sit and work with an owner and say, look, I'm going to create you a custom burger blend. Okay. And he gives you three versions. And then you pick it, but he, he works with you. But his food is the best hamburger ever, yeah. Pat Lafrida. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I, I just it's it, it it seems like just with all these diners that are now changing, um, yeah. this is a natural progression of the mm-hmm. business. I, yeah. I know there's nostalgia involved. I know yeah. people have their 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 old time memories, but I don't think it, it doesn't do any damage to that. No, nope. but. The, the diner business is always evolving. It's always changing. Well, would you? I mean, the re, the renovation that they did retain the diner feel. Yeah. Yes, I they yes. definitely retained the diner yes. feel. Definitely. I mean, they 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 expanded it. They made a I thought a very nice dining room. Yeah. But when you come in, it's not like you walk in and say, "Oh, I'm not in a diner." You you know you're in a diner. Yeah, definitely. Change change is hard. Now, <clears throat> at the TikTok, TikTok been up and around for a long time. Yeah. The original TikTok was a stainless steel. Uh, Silk City Diner. Okay. Mm-hmm. That left in the 1970s because okay. the owner realized he had to have a bigger place because of uh, everything was going on in the Meadowlands with Giant Stadium, yeah. the racetrack, and, yeah. the, I remember that, and yeah. the, uh, the, the concert hall. A new TikTok was installed in the mid 70s. Um, that was m- a little bit more of a restaurant kind mm-hmm. of feel, but it was still the TikTok. Yeah. Okay. And that operated for about 17, 18 years. They picked up that diner. Moved it down to uh, just west of Atlantic City. Okay. It's now the that diner has been moved and that's that's been renovated and and reborn as the Mays Landing Diner. Okay, I remember that. And now. then now the current diner was built by the Coleman Company, installed in 1994, I think. Right. And that's the seven sections, and that's really there's a case I think there's a, there's an example of of the kind of the merger of a factory built prefabricated diner. And the more modern, larger diners that people now seem to like. So, and that's that's the diner that's in place now, and that's the diner that's been renovated. So, was that Coleman's last diner? No, Coleman uh, Coleman built diners up until the early 2000s. Wow. Okay. Oh, wow. Yeah, but that's uh, seven sections. Uh, Robert Coleman Robert Coleman told me the story. Wow. Um, it's got the big dining hall. It's got mm-hmm. the when you first walk in though, it's got the more more familiar diner atmosphere with the counter mm-hmm. and okay. things like that. Um, but that's you know that's the TikTok and and like I said, people say oh he isn't you know things changed but things are always changing. And yeah. then I just gave you an example. This yeah. there's been three TikToks on the same site yeah. over mm-hmm. the years. So it's uh, change change have changes. I know change is hard. People get attached to places. But yeah. C'est la vie. This yeah. is uh, this is what happens. Eventually change becomes routine and then you'll get used to it. Right. And then they'll change it again right. and you'll be like yeah. why do you change yeah. it? <laughs> yeah. The I, one exception is the. Is is the Summit Diner? That's a that's a classic. That's that's chiseled in stone. Yeah. <laughs> that place was it's beautiful yeah. just as is. That's a time travel piece. Time, yes, yeah, yes. I love that. I think the only thing they've done is they expanded the kitchen, correct? In the back, there's a kitchen, yeah, yeah. off to the side more. But you know, that, 
that's what happens. But that doesn't affect the, the no. experience inside the diner. No, no, not at all. It's, there's a nostalgia aspect to it. People have to realize it's a business. Yeah, totally. Yeah. The, totally. You have to people stay current. That own the place, they, they got to make money. It's a business. So of that's, course. That goes into it. And a, a big renovation co- creates big costs, and yeah. they have to recoup their costs. Yeah. I, mean, that, I mean, that's yeah. that's reasonable. Yeah. That's logical and reasonable. Yeah. yeah. Well, we're going to wrap it up here. This is our micro podcast today. Uh, I want to thank you, Michael Gabriel, for Very being much. a big part of what we do. Absolutely. My pleasure. All right. And it's an uh, honor. Stay tuned because we, Mike, you're lock and loaded with us for the next year. So, 2020, I'm all ready. All right, good. Yeah. We have to get him to East Hanover. Yeah, yeah. That's Eventually. A, we're going to get mean, you we to East Hanover. To, but no, yeah. you definitely got to take an East Hanover. Yeah. <laughs> Point me in the right direction. I'll, I'll go anywhere you want me to go. Awesome. <laughs> Michael Gabriel and Yanni meet. That, that would be something else. That's an epic uh, podcast. <laughs> an epic meeting. Okay, until next time, I'm William. I'm Glenn. And Disco Fries for All. We're out.